All right, hello everyone. Jay here. And today we are playing Dragon Quest Builders. And uh, yeah, let's get right to it. Ooh. Hope you're all having a good day today. Hmm. I'm gonna go with male. I want purple hair. Or we can go with pink. Let's go with purple. Skin. Hmm. I am very pale myself, so I'm gonna go with pale. All right, uh, can't really tell with the eyes. All right, I'll just go with green, I guess. Uh, let's see. A name. Let's go with Thag. Am I happy with this character? Yeah. I would say so. So, Dragon Quest Builders. Not going to lie to you, I bought it because I watched uh, Far From Subtle or FFS TV on uh, Twitch. AKA Video Games Awesome. I watched them play it last night for like <laughs> three or four hours maybe. And I ended up loving what I saw. I was thinking about getting it anyways, but I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, play this because I went ahead and bought it because of them. <clears throat> this guy's really cool looking. Kind of reminds me of Tim Curry <laughs> from uh, Legend. Anyways, <clears throat> what kind of voice should he have? Hmm, the part of me wants to go like this, but I don't know if he sounds like this. Because honestly, looking at him kind of sounds like this. Yeah, I think I'll go with that. <clears throat> So, thou art come before me at last. I am the Dragon Lord, Master of Masters, King of Kings. <gasps> it's Triple H. Long have I awaited this moment. Come, take thy rightful place at my side. Do so, and I will grant unto thee dominion over half this world. Thou wishest not to half the world? Wilt thou not reconsider? Tis an offer few would refuse. Uh oh. Thag, at long last, I have found you. A single, foolish choice has plunged this hallowed land into darkness. Beneath the night and skies, my children call as insects on the earth, powerlessly awaiting their own destruction. Uh, only by the power contained within you may this ruined world be rebuilt. Arise, my child. Your destiny awaits. Thag, my child, you have finally awoken. Do you remember who you are? Do you remember what you are? Ellipses. I see. So you have no recollection of before. Before? Before. Blah. No matter. Indeed, perhaps it is all for the best. 
After so long a slumber, no doubt your body will still be weak. Arise, my child, and see that you can move freely. Let's get moving! Use the left stick to move around and press circle to jump. Have a run around to stretch your legs. Ah! Thank goodness. All seems to be well. You can fulfill your role. Bag, my child. I have awoken you that you might perform a vital task. A task upon which the fate of this very world may... What? I don't... I do not doubt that you may... F that you might feel a little poorly. But it... But it is not the fate of the world more important than... Oh, my poor child. It is true. You are nearly at death's door. It seems your lengthy slumber has robbed you of your strength. <clears throat> Here, my child. Take these white petals. You can use them to restore your vitality. Sweet. All right. Uh, ah. That's what circle was. <clears throat> Good. Bag, you have been blessed with a special power. The power to combine raw materials to build new items. A new. That's why. I'm, yeah. All right. You can work at this tree stump. Use the white petals you gathered to prepare some healing cream. Let's get building! You can use the materials you collect to build new items. Try using the nearby crafting station to craft some healing cream. Oh, I'm gonna cream all over this. Wonderful! You may you have made your first creation. Thag, my child. You have a power shared by none other in this world. The power to build new things from raw materials. R really? <laughs> now use the healing cream you created to tend to your wounds. Press square to use tools and items. Using items. You can use an item by selecting it with right or left on the d-pad and then pressing square try using the healing cream you've made to restore your HP all right yeah 15 HP do you feel better now I see the color has returned to your cheeks those luscious cheeks you created that healing cream with your own two hands oh boy <laughs> Usually it only takes one, but, you know. However, the men and women who inhabit this world have lost the power of creation. That sucks. Thag, my child. A sacred duty rests upon your shoulders. Oh, I'm sorry. Your young shoulders. You must... <laughs> hmm? Well, yes, I quite understand that you wish to leave this place, but first you must learn of your... <sighs> Very well. <laughs> I will show you how the build... First, take this broken branch. You got it. Well done, Thag. Why am I not getting anything? I'm sorry, folks. I am trying to make sure. See, I got a text, but simplest of weapons. Approach the tree stump as before and use it to craft a cypress stick. All right. Uh, cypress stick. One moment, guys.
Congratulations, my child. You have created your first weapon. Mankind once made tools and used them to build a thriving civilization. And, as all great civilizations do, so too they built weapons. But now, only you have the power to build such things. Thank my child. You have been entrusted with a divine mission to... <laughs> hmm? I can well imagine that you are eager to see the outside world. But you, would you rather not learn a, more of... <sighs> Very well. To build a path out of here, first you must equip the weapon you have made. Press X to open the main menu, and place the cypress stick in your hand. Alright, equipping equipment. Weapons and armor are no use to you unless you are, unless they are equipped. Uh, press X to open the main menu, then select equipment to equip the items in your equipment bag. Alright, equip. I went into status. Equipment. There we go. Bam. Equip. Well done. Weapons are not only useful for fighting monsters. They can also serve to gather materials. The power to break objects apart and reduce them to raw materials is yours and yours alone. Ever since this world was plunged into darkness and mankind lost its power, they have awaited the coming of one with the ability to create. Thag, my child, the dreams, the hopes, the very fates of the people of this world rest on your shoulders. If this land is ever again to see light, you must fulfill your sacred duty and... Thag? You're not asleep, are you? <laughs> Perhaps it's best we continue this conversation outside. To build a path out of this place, first you must break apart and collect the nearby earth. Press triangle to, get, uh, to break things apart and turn them into materials that you can pick up. Smash the earth around you and collect 10 earth blocks. Okay. Sweet. Yeah! Oh. oh. Okay. Well done, Thag. That should be enough. Press... Uh, yeah, wow. Press square to place the blocks of earth on the ground in front of you. I have marked the location for you in red. Place a block of earth there to build a stairway and escape from this tomb. Oh, okay. I, I will do that thank you uh, press right and left to select a block then press square to put it down in front of you place the earth blocks inside the red markers to build a staircase all right I will do that but this one floating is bothering me there we go <clears throat> what's over here anything no no what's in these rocks nothing wait can I break these Nope, okay. All of this. Can I break this down here? Examine. There is something written on the gravestone. But it is so old and worn that the text is illegible. Hmm. Like, I just want to, like, destroy everything here. Like, just in case, you know? Like, in case there is something that I'm missing. Ooh, actually, let's break these petals so that way we can have some more healing cream. That'd be good. Ooh, no, okay. So, yeah, so I probably would not have played this if it wasn't for video games awesome honestly but this game seems so up my alley that i had to go out and get it today after watching them play it yesterday slash this morning <clears throat> okay whoa hello 
Got that anything good for me? No? Okay. Alright. Fine. Alright, I'm done breaking the earth. Alright. Please. Ooh, that's all. Nope. Okay. Not enough space. Okay, there we go. We got it. Ha! Ooh, sweet. Yeah, all right. Wow, this game is so easy to pick up, honestly. Not enough space. What? There we go. Open. There we go. Well done, Thag. You have found your way back to the outside world. When your eyes adjust to the brightness, you will see the world of... Alephgard? 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 Yeah, Alephgard. Before you. Light was lost to this land long ago, and now darkness reigns eternal. Wow, I am having wicked flashbacks. Like, I remember messing up that word and thinking that it sounded like Olive Garden. <laughs> the people who inhabit this somber realm once had the power to create until it was wrenched from them. Without it, their culture crumbled into dust. Thag, my child, you have been entrusted with a mon uh, momentous, moment yeah, moment momentous, Jesus, mission. <laughs> Only by the power you hold, the power to create, can this world be rebuilt and the people of Alephgard arise once more. I beg your pardon? What do you mean you don't get it? Forgive me, my child. After having only just awoken from so long a slumber, this must all come as quite a shock. Let us adopt a more simple approach. Use the power of creation that dwells within you and rebuild this world however you see fit. No doubt, you will fulfill your duty in the course of doing so. So, so, bleh, so too will you come to learn of the tragedy that befell this world and the role you are to play in this salvation. I am Rubus, the spirit of the land. Go forth, my child, and I know that I do watch over you. And know that I do watch over you as always. I don't know. I can't read. Just kidding. Oh, and Thag, there is one last thing that you must know. You are not a hero. Oh, s oh what? If nothing else, remember this. Oh, I'm not a hero. What the hell? If I'm not a hero, why am I given this... This... Duty. The land you see before you was once known as... Cantlin. Long, long ago, a bustling city thrived here. Uh, ringed all around with stout fortifications but all was destroyed wow Blah. <clears throat> but all was destroyed in the relentless attacks by the monsters scarcely a trace remains of its former greatness Thag, my child you must use the power within you to rebuild the city of Cantlin to its former glory this will be the first step on your journey to make Alephgard arise once more. To this end, I bestow you unto... Wow. Unto... Fuck! To this end, I bestow unto you a gift. What is it? Jesus, that actually made me jump. I was not ready for that. <coughs> Take this banner of hope in hand and seek the source of the light you see before you. Even as the darkness closed in around them, the men and women of Cantlin flew this flag to the bitter end. Plant the banner in this land once more, that its bountiful light 
might serve as a symbol of Canton's restoration. Now go, make haste for the pillar of light. Back obtains the banner of hope. Yeah! Got the banner. Okay. Just get some more stuff. Oh, it's gonna be hard not to jump with X. <laughs> Wee! Okay. Yay, I got another stick. Alright, so I cannot break trees. Oh, that's how you do it. Greasy. Oh, grassy leaves. Wow, why do I think that said greasy? Damn it. Give me all the healing cream flowers. Hell yeah! So I'm not sure how long I'm going to be playing this tonight, but... Probably going to be long. Wow, that's loud! A warming, soothing light spreads all around. People near and far will be attracted by the banner's beckoning light. Look, my child, here's one already. Who could it be? Planting your flag. When you plant your banner of hope, the area around it will become your base. The more your <clears throat> excuse me, the more your base develops, the more the meter in the top left corner of the screen will fill up. Cool. I will definitely save. Excuse me for one moment. And we're back. <gasps> it's Bailey! <laughs> What's this funny flag doing here? There's something special about this place. It's so bright and inviting. My name's Pippa. What's yours? Residence request. I got something in my eye. I think I got it. Yep, okay. If a resident of your town has an exclamation mark over their head, it means that they have something to ask you. Talk to them and see what they want. Yes, yes, hello. <laughs> What's that? You're the one who planted that flag here? Who are you? Where did you come from? You don't remember? The goddess told you to come here? So you've got amnesia and you're hearing voices? That's not suspicious in the slightest. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. But maybe if we were a hero, that would mean something. Ugh. Oh, but this place is just so lovely. Can I live here? Bag, my child. <laughs> Sorry. The saliva went down the wrong way. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh, even with the power that dwells within you, you cannot rebuild Cantlin alone. Your first step in rebuilding this city must be to house those who join you in living here. Can we populate? That would be cool. Yeah. Little remains of this dilapidated house. I almost said boat. <laughs> Save the door. Repair it. Wait, what? Little remains of this dilapidated house. Save the door. Okay. Uh, repair it by re filling in the holes of the wall with earth. You can place blocks above you by holding L1 and below you holding R1. Hold down square, and you will place one block on the top of another. Hold it down while moving to the place many blocks in succession. Okay. Take this knowledge and these blocks of earth, and make this ruined house livable once more. Okay, alright, alright. We got the- oh, god, I keep forgetting that. I can't... I can't, uh, use... 
I forgot that I can't use. Wait, are these supposed to be windows or no? Ask her. Ah! So, uh, yeah, it's either going to be X or triangle that I keep trying to uh, use to jump. <laughs> that clap. <laughs> wow! That's incredible! The walls were all full of holes, but now they're as good as new. Huh? You fixed it? With dirt? I thought you were just a weird boy with voices in his head. But you completely fixed that broken down old house. You must have some kind of special power. Here, take these. I found them on my way here. You can have them for fixing that house for me. You must have some kind of special power to be able to fix up that old house like that. How did you do it? Blah 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 blah. What? You've got the power to build new things? Hey, I, I look like Trunks. Like a young Trunks. <laughs> what does build mean? Beg my child, do you remember what I told you? Long ago, these people of this wow long ago the people of this land lost the power of creation it is your duty to help them regain this power anyway i really appreciate you fixing the house like this but i'm not much without some kind of light inside hmm but i can't see any torches lying around here besides your banner of hope you will find it a mason's workstation you can use it to build a torch. Take these materials, use them to construct a torch, and reveal to this girl the fruits of your labors. Whoa, okay. I have a splat of blue glue. Oh, 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 hey, I know these guys. All right, so here's the thing. I've never played a Dragon Quest game before. But I, I know of these blue guys. Oh shit, they hurt. Okay. I honestly thought they were friendly. Ah, that's where we get the blue goo from. Alright, I... Damn it. Sweet. Alright, let's take out one more. Just for the fun of it. Yay! That was fun. Here, one more. Just, oh, excuse me. Just for good luck. What are these? Are these apples? Plum berries. Okay. I should have let him go because I couldn't hit him, but whatever. All right. Let's get to the workstation then. Bam, bam. I know, Pippa. I'm getting to it. Okay, healing cream, torch, bonfire. Ooh. Ragged rags. Alright, so. Let's build a torch. Or five. No, what the fuck? That's incredible. Hey, where'd you find that torch? I made it. You didn't find it? You built it? Ah, so that's what building means. You pick up stuff from around here and somehow change it into a torch, right? Thanks. I think I understand. Sort of. Hey, do you think you might be able to build anything with this? If you need any more, I'll see if I can find some. Broken branch? I can build a lot of things with the broken branch. 
I just realized something. You never told me your name. Thag? <laughs> what kind of name is that? It doesn't sound like you've had any special powers at all. You'd be surprised. Shut up. But you can't judge somebody by their name, right? Anyway, Thag. You've still got some torches you made, right? We should put one in the house. A room is complete if it has walls two blocks high, a door, and some source of light to start uh, stave off the darkness when the sun has set. Press square to place your creations wherever you wish. Go, my child, and place the torch inside the house. I love her little clap. I really do. Fucking great. Alright. Uh, where should we put the torch? Right here. Okay. Not enough space. Oh, there we go. And how about now? Oh, wrong button. Not enough space. Yeah, there we go. Back builds an empty room. Oh, options. Bird eye view. Whoa, hello. Okay. That's cool. Sweet. Uh, okay. There you go. Wow, look at that. Brilliant! Now that it's all lit up, the room's perfect. You're amazing, Thag. You really have- you really do have special powers. It's hard to believe that someone who looks so dopey could be so talented. Oh, you're telling me. Wow, it's not the first time I've heard that. But you can't judge somebody by their appearance, right? No. Anyway, thanks, Thag. Now we have somewhere to live. Wait, you, you're gonna, you're gonna live with me? Oh man. What makes a room a room? For a room to be recognized, it must have walls at least two blocks high, a door, and a source of light. If it doesn't have that, it's no room at all. Hey Thag, thanks to you, we have such a lovely room. But don't you think we uh, but don't you think it would be so much better if we had something to sleep in that night? It would. I know. Maybe you could build something. Thag, my child, you must gather materials that you might fashion some bedding. Should you place a bed in a room, you can sleep on it at any time, uh, night or day, to restore your health. It would be great if you could make two things to sleep on. If we had two... Oh, wait, hold on, wrong... Okay. If we had two beds, we could sleep next to each other. <laughs> Ugh. Ooh. <laughs> Whew. It's time, Thag. <laughs> yeah, it is. I shall leave it to you to gather the materials you need to build the straw mattresses young Pippa requests. A straw mattress can be constructed from grassy leaves. To build one, you must first... Thag... Are you alright? <clears throat> okay. <laughs> uh, straw mattress. Basic bedding from dried leaves. Uh, woven together. Can be slept on. Wait, huh? Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my god. I, I know. I knew I... Uh... Whoops! Oh! Friggity frig. Alright. Oh, okay. That was not white. Shit. There we go. Ew. I did not hold it down. Alright, come on. Come on. Can I... How do I... Oh, okay. What? How is that? What? I... What? I don't know. Okay. Um... You know what? I'm actually going to fill this out. Because, yeah. Oh, come on! Oh, no! Stop it! No! Bad dirt! 
Okay. Uh... Shit. I know I can't put that midair. There we go. Okay. Oh, I gotcha. Okay, this is how you do it. Okay. See, I wasn't paying attention. Whoa. Okay. Easy there, killer. Alright, so we keep building and placing down blocks. Blocks, 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 blocks. And blocks, 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 blocks. Blocks, 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 blocks. I know. It must be really annoying to you guys, and I apologize. Okay, that's good enough. Alright, uh any grass. I don't know how much grass I need. Bow nose. <laughs> uh, see. I think I need grass. Can I look at wrong button? Can I look at? There we go. That's how you do it. Recipes. Straw mattresses. Grassy leaves. Oh, I only need three, and I have seven. Okay, let me grab this plumberry. Plumberry. I love saying that. Plumberry, plumberry. Ah, uh -huh, nope, okay. Boink, boink. Boink, boink. Break these rocks, or at least that one. Can't jump over a house. Okay, yeah, let's save it. That wasn't exactly what I was trying to do, but hey, saving is pretty good, right? Right. Also, I don't know if there is uh, auto saves on this, so. Alright, let's build those straw mattresses. Got one. And got two. Wow, oh, that black box is ugly. Alright, um. You know what? Let me. Oh no! Wow. So yeah, guys. I'm sorry. You're gonna see a lot of fucking up from me. Oh, shit. Like that. What do you mean? Place it there. Yep. I built a room. Hooray! God damn, oh, God damn it! Fuck. Like, I'm going back to Minecraft. That's what my problem is. Can I... Yep, okay. First basic bedroom. Hell yeah. Oh, she's ready. Oh, man. Alright. Wow, you built this... Oh, yeah. Wow, you built us something to sleep on. Thank you, Thag. Whether it is night or day, you can sleep on any bed that is within a room to recover your health. As the sun sets, the darkness will co uh, close in around you and more powerful monsters emerge in force. When night falls, you would do well to not return to your base. Uh, rest Wait, hold on. When night falls, you would do well to return... Oh, you would do well. I... Uh, to return to your base, rest your head upon a pillow, and sleep until morning. Thag, my child. You discovered that means to build a straw mattress all by yourself. In addition to the power to create that I bestowed upon you, it seems you also bear the special skill to dis discern what can be made from the materials you find. This is a wondrous... Uh, power you have it shall not Yeah, it shall no doubt prove Invaluable to you in your quest to rebuild this city Thag hello Thag Was the goddess speaking to you you were staring off into space with your mouth open again <laughs> So 
sorry. It's just, you're a girl and you want to sleep next to me and just, uh. uh. <laughs> You've got to pay more attention to what's going on around you, Thag. If you keep spacing out like that, you'll never get anything done. Trust me, I know that. <clears throat> Yay, broken branches. <laughs> time flies. Whether you're collecting materials or building rooms, time is always on the move. Eventually, night will fall and another day will dawn. You can check what time it is on the clock in your top right corner of the screen. Right there. Sweet deal. Thag, can I ask you something? With all this wandering around and collecting stuff, aren't you getting a bit hungry? Huh? No, it's not just me. That's not my tummy rumbling. <laughs> you must have heard things. <laughs> They're so cute. But anyway, look, there is a lot of plumberry trees around here. Plumberries are kind of small, and they don't really fill you up, but they're really sweet and juicy. Can you go and get some plumberries for me, Thag? Please? We'll need at least five for a decent meal. A plumberry is a small pink fruit that never falls far from the tree. Like an apple! <laughs> or a relative. <laughs> Perhaps you should take a look and see if there are any nearby. Wow, you found so many plumberries. Can I have them? Sure. Hooray! Thanks, Thag. To tell you the truth, I'm actually really, really hungry. Here, take these. Uh, yeah. Here, these are for you. It's your share. I mean, you must be starving too, right? They're really, really tasty. You should try them. My tummy starts to rumble. Yay. Excuse me. As time passes, you become hungrier and hungrier. You can see how full you are by checking the hunger meter in the top left corner of the screen and fill yourself up by eating food. Yeah! You know, Thag, I've been thinking. You run around smashing up all these trees and grass and stuff, and use some materials you find to build new things, right? It'd be pretty useful if, to have somewhere to store all that stuff, don't you think? Yeah, it would. After all, you're going to have to collect a lot of different materials pretty soon. That's true. Why, well... Uh, it's a secret, teehee. But you should make something to put your stuff in. Your friend is wise indeed. Having a place to store and manage the resources you gather would serve you well. Can you conceive of an item that would serve much or such a role? Hmm. I got it, and I've been... It's because I was staring at her chest. You saw it. He was looking straight down. Not straight down, but at an angle. Yeah. All right. Anyways, branches bundled, bleh, branches bundled together to form a stout, strong box. Can be used to store items. Score 50 points. All right. I got it. Don't worry. I I will. Don't don't worry. Ah, wrong button. Uh, not save. Let's build. Oh, I can build a freaking club? How many do I need? Two? How many chests? Oh, yeah, how many does... Oh. All right. I made a chest. Hooray! Let's get some clubs. Hooray! He puts an item in the baggy bag. I need coarse cloth. Okay. Oh, no. Yay, we did it. Okay, uh, it's X. Equipment. What the fuck was that noise that I just made with my mouth? Equip. Oh, I, ooh, wait, hold on, really? So, I, um... Oh, okay, that's cool. 
I didn't notice that before. The whole using up and down the switch weapons. Wow, you made a chest. Now you can put all, uh, all the stuff that you collected in there and go and collect even more stuff. You know, Thag, there's something I've always, wanted, uh, always wondered. What exactly has happened to this world? They say that the light was stolen from us by the, a really bad man. Ever since it's been all anyone could do is just survive. I think I fucked up that sentence. Nobody cares about anyone but themselves, and they never help us help anyone else out. Anyway, I think it's super boring to live like that. It is. It is super boring to live like that. Don't you think it'd be fun if we could rebuild this city and everyone could live together? Yeah, it would. Imagine that. A world where all everyone could get along. Anyways. I feel if you're around, anything can happen. We should do everything we can to make this town a great place to live. But... Excuse me. But we'll need loads and loads of materials to do that. That's why I asked you to make a chest. Alright. So, it's agreed. We're going to build this biggest, bestest city in the whole wide world. I'll have to think about what we need to build, and you'll build it. You are going to help me, aren't you, Thag? Aren't you? I mean, I guess. I should probably put the chest down somewhere. What's over here? Mushrooms. Whoa, nothing lasts forever. Weapons and armor can take so much punishment before they break. Make sure to build some spears just in case of emergency. Yes, I know that. Thank you. Yeah, nope, okay. Still can't take down trees. Probably need to build an axe of some kind. I am loving this game already. It's awesome. I love the humor in it too. I mean, I I know I said like I watched VJ play it last night, but I was kind of, you know, doing my own stuff at the same time. It's going to be a lot of work to turn this in, uh, place into a huge city, isn't it? Is there anything I can do to help? Like, maybe I could build something. That would be pretty helpful, wouldn't it? But if I'm going to build things, I'm going to need a room to work in. Just like the one in this picture. Dad, can you build me a room like the one I've drawn? Please? Pretty please? It would seem that your example has a... Oh, excuse me. It would seem that your example has awoken within Pe young Pippa the will to build. Blueprints, such as the one she has gifted you unto, gifted unto you, may be laid on the ground by pressing square. Press this middle button here, this big wide button right here on the PS4 controller to view the plan in more detail. To complete a bl blueprint, Blueprint. blueprint to complete a blueprint ensure that you place all the necessary items exactly as shown be sure to build rooms within the bounds of your base lest the inhabitants of your town fail to recognize them for the workbench you could use that mason's workstation near the flag <laughs> you'll probably have to bash it about a bit before you can move it oh 
And the room will need a door to get in and out and a torch or something to light it up. But you can make things like that from raw materials, right? <clears throat> Straw door. Make me a workroom. Jeez. All right. All right. There we go. And press this button. Um, oh, maybe, oh, okay, wrong button. Ah, there we go. Cool. Oops, oh, oh, wait, wait, what? Oh, okay. Oh. Oh. Okay, so layout. What if? What if? What if? What if I... Wow, I haven't fucking thought of that song in years. Uh, build it. Or lay it down, whatever. Okay, so... It needs earth. 48 earth. Wow. Bonfire. A workstation. Um, a straw door. A chest. Blueprints. Oh, whoops. Okay. Alright, so... Let's place the most important thing. Fuck you, it's not enough space. No, god damn it. There. Alright. So build. Bonfire. Do I need a torch? I need a torch, don't I? Yes, I made a bonfire. Great for me. Yippee skippy. Okay. Well, I mean, probably gonna need one anyways. Uh, let's put a chest here. I mean, I could probably use the chest along with her, right? Oh, shit. Along with her, right? I mean... I don't know. I don't know. Place that there. Okay. Uh, let's get some earth. Considering I only have four, so I only need 44 more things of earth. Wonderful! Sweet, okay. thinking that that is the way to go about things it's using r1 and l1 to quickly scroll through the things i need to get to but it's obviously not it okay ba bam ba bam is there something moving in the water oh cool okay Bam! Bup. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let me run down here real quick then. Build. I completely forgot to build a cypress stick. I mean, I know I have the club, but I want to use the club for enemies. Hello. How are you, kitty? All right. Uh, I need the. Equip it. Let's equip it. Equip. Sweet. Ah, shit. Yeah, that's good. Just break those. What are you up to? Hmm? Being joined by Liza. And she's crawling onto the PlayStation. Keep warm. Because it is a bit of a cold night. Alright, so, ha, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, keep on 
dancing. Alright. Oh shit, I am. I have a lot more than. Oh, ooh, when night falls. After the sun goes down, you won't be able to see as far. And all sorts of ghosts and ghoulies will head out on the prowl. Find a room with a bed to sleep until morning. Ooh, can you hear those wolves? How many can you hold? 99! Wow, that's a shitload. Okay. I don't remember what Minecraft is. Alright. Of, of course I fall into the freaking hole. Um, it's that one. Square, square, right. That's why I got so many. All right, Peppa, I am gonna go to sleep. Oh, adorable. I'm awake. Hello, Peppa. I did not know I could do that. If I did, I completely forgot. Or was not paying attention. Which is highly likely. Let's not go there. Whoops! No, it doesn't go there. Okay. Shit! You son of a bitch. No. Friggity frack 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 frack. Alright, I need to build a door. That's what I'm forgetting. Straw door. I can do it. I made a door. Hooray. Pippa is going to love me. Why don't we have roofs? I built my first stone mason work mason workshop mason. I built my mason workshop. Bah. Hooray! You built the workshop I asked for. Thanks, bag. It's just like the one in my picture. I'm amazing, aren't I? You love me, right? No, that that's okay. No problem. No, my feelings not hurt. Trust me. It's fine. I would rather be friends. And I mean that. I'm not being sarcastic at all. Really not. Now I feel like people are thinking I'm being sarcastic. I'm just gonna shut up now. Because I almost flipped my phone off the table. <laughs> oft will the... Oft will the inhabitants of your town seek and assist your efforts by presenting you with blueprints. Should you lack sufficient resources to complete a blueprint or other construction, Search for them in the nearby wilderness. Some materials can only be obtained by defeating the monsters at Maraud, the wilds, thus freeing them from their grasp. I'm going to use my workshop to build all sorts of stuff. Uh, let's see. I'll put it all in the chest at the end of the day so you can take a look at all the amazing things I made. Hell yeah, thanks. <sighs> I got a coarse cloth. Yes. Oh, let's build some rags. Hell yeah. It's in my equipment bag. All right, let's talk. Again, thanks for the workroom bag. Now we can make everything we need to rebuild the city. But it's not going to be much of a city with just the two of us living here. The truth is, when I was on my way here, I saw a suspicious looking man lurking around nearby. He looked a bit of a weirdo, so I wanted 
I waited until I went away and ran straight here. But maybe if we asked him to come up and live with us, he might lend a hand in rebuilding the city? He was on the other side of the mountains the last time I saw him. Go and find him, Veg, and get him to join us. All right. Make good use of your compass, my child. Uh, make good use of your compass, my child. It will be of great use to you in finding what you seek. Press options to take stock of your surroundings and search for the fellow whom young Pippa spoke. A new quest marker has appeared on the compass. Hooray! All right, so the compass in the top right corner of the screen shows you which way you're going and which way you need to go. Quest destinations are marked with capital Q for quest, as in Dragon Quest. Ah. All right. Find that funny man. I will. He's hilarious. All right, so he's off that way. That way. All right, let's go adventuring. But before we do that, we need to equip the... Oh. What? Now, ah, whatever. All right, the oaken clubs. I didn't realize I was already wearing the rags. Can I swim? That would be wonderful to know. What's this? Read. There's an old worn signpost here with the words my pledge ablazoned on at the top. There's a lot of writing underneath. Would you like to read it? Sure, why not? <clears throat> How many years have passed since the vile and wicked dragon lord enshroud our realm in darkness? Monsters roam the land unchecked and even my dear home, the city of Cantlin, hath finally fallen. Twas but a matter of months after being robbed of the power to create that we did not that we did begin to lose our culture. Even now, fewer and fewer of our people are literate. For so long did we take the most dear and precious power up for granted that without it we are undone. But if I cannot sorry, but if I cannot prevent humanity's decline, at least I can record it. To this end, I resolve to travel the lands of Alifgard and take note of what has befallen mankind. May this notice stand testament testament blah, blah. May this notice stand testament to my vow. I intend to collate 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 I intend to collate the records of my journey into a book which I shall title a passage to Tantagel. I invite all who read this pledge to follow in my footsteps and seek out my story. May the goddess watch over thee the, in all thine adventures. Sir Reginald Augustus Grayness Catlin Brigade of Gods. Huh. Oh, no. No, oh, don't do that. Break shit! Alright, cool. Uh-oh. I should go back real quick. Wait, hold on. Can I... Items? Yeah, let me go back. And put stuff away. That would be really useful. I'm also gonna see what these bats carry on them. Maybe nothing? Grass seed and what? Corelli bud? Okay. Take your word for it. Okay. So, open. Not built. My apologies. Alright, so let's put this. Put away. Put away. Put away. I'll take that. Put away. Ah, uh, torch might help. Oh. 
A scrumptious seed that grants great vigor. Increases maximum HP by 5. Oh, nice. I put pic uh, Pippa's picture in there. Put this in there. And puts this there. Alright, cool. Open. Let's get the hell out of here. Also, um... Yeah, let's use the seed of life. Yeah! So yeah, um, I'm loving this game very, very much. And I hope that people go out and buy this game. Because it's fucking great. I love it. Like, I honestly do. I mean, I've only been playing for, what, an hour now? And I absolutely love it. So... Ooh, can I break the- Ooh, I can. Yes! I got a box! It's a crate! Oh, shit. Sweet, so I took the bonfire. Alright. It means that somebody's nearby. And with that... Alright, so... Alright, so he's gotta be over there. Give me your goo. <laughs> that sticky blue goo. Hey! Hey! Sons of bitches. Hell yeah! Keep on dancing. You son of a. You mother! Puss bucket! What are you? Oh, it's a chimera. Okay. Chimera wing. A fastly tied fan of fluttering feathers instantly transports you to your base. Oh, it's fucking sweet. Alright, this has got to be that guy. Let's build. What do I need for this? Oh, I need three? No, five of them. Wait. Yeah, I need five. Okay. Alright. Um, ooh, let's make some cream. <laughs> oh, read, okay. The Anetcha books are so difficult to read. Ooh, oh, right, he's illiterate, okay. This surf, this, this... Deciphering the Catlin Chronicle might take much longer than I originally thought. My handwriting is so bad that Thad cannot summon up the will to read anymore. Got that right. Just take everything. Take the straw door. Oh, my bag is full. Shit. Eh, fuck it. Oh god! Walked right into him. Yay! Oh my god, will you stop? Oh, let me... Let me heal that. Yeah, let me heal. Grab some mushrooms. Cause I know I'm gonna need them later. I remember that from watching the thingy. Can I use this build? No? Okay. How far away am I? Not that far. Okay, cool. Keep on going. Hop, hop, hop. Oh, hello. Anybody there? <gasps> Sorry, I didn't mean to take down your torch. Right. Hey, I found you. Phew. Free at last. I cannot thank you enough, young man. <laughs> but tell me, who exactly are you? I'm sure I would remember such a funny looking face. What? You say you're building a town near here? 
find my bushy beard. That is wonderful news. Let me help. Let me join your city and help rebuild it. Sure. Hmm. What are you pulling that face for? You look like you just swallowed an insect. Well, you may be... Well, you may make whatever strange face you like. I'll find my way to your town whether you like it or not. <laughs> I'm Rolo. The proud owner of that most vulnerable... What? The, I am Rolo, the proud owner of the most vulnerable books, the Cantling Chronicle. I assure you that it and I will prove invaluable to the new city of yours. Now, lead the way. All right. Take me to your town. What is that? There's something up there. And I... Guess not. Okay. I was wrong. Yoink. Alright, Rolo. How's your brother Ragnar? Is he doing good? I hope so. Considering I still haven't watched the last season yet. No spoilers! Do I have numbers? I do. There are dogs barking. I'm sure there are not dogs. They're probably wolves. But hey, who knows? Yeah, that howling is wolf. Oh my god, I forgot about hunger. What's this do? Milk blossom bud? Let me, let me just eat all the way. There we go. Where's my town? Oh my god, where is my town? This way. Okay. Oh, wrong button. This one's sleeping. Yeah, yeah, I did that. Find that funny man. Well, uh, I guess I found him. My word, just look at this place. Let's save. Da 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 ba. Ba ba da 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 ba ba. Bop. Another great thing about this game, it does not take much space on your hard drive. It's so great. By my bristly brows, this town is positively brimming with life. Why, I, I do believe that the Catlin Chronicle describes this very place. It's a perfect location to bring the legendary city of Catlin back to life. Oh, who? My mention of the legendary tome piques your interest, does it? The Catlin Chronicles is an invaluable volume of ancient knowledge passed down in my family over countless generations. It is many hundreds of years old, and its pages tell of mankind's hapless history and the lost art of creation and construction. Deciphering this ancient text could reveal secrets vital to the restoration of this once great city. Our meeting is no mere coincidence, Fag. I assure you, we are here destined to rebuild this magnificent town together. Yay, okay. I found him, but I'm gonna sleep next to you. Cause I love you. <laughs> that was fucking creepy. And I apologize. No! Oh, oh, okay. Yay! You found someone to join our town! I did. What's that? You think he seems a bit shady? I don't think so. I never said that. You might be right there. That's why I avoided him in the first place. When I first saw him, he was giggling to himself and stroking this enormous book. But... But he's got a beard. He must be dependable, right? Hopefully. I mean, I have a beard and I'm pretty dependable. And he must be really clever too. I mean, he's got such a big bushy beard after all. I uh, can't say anything for that. But anyway, 
Ah, but anyway, now that we've found a new friend, we can all work together to make this the best city in the whole... In the whole of... We can work together to make this the best city in the whole of Alephgard. Okay. I have a seed of life again. Hooray! Let's save again. Ah, oh, fuck me. <laughs> Hooray! Alright, thank my friend. I do not mean to cast doubt on your claims. But was it truly you who constructed these buildings? If that were true, it would mean that you have the power to build new things. A gift that mankind lost so long ago. Could it be that you are the builder of whom the Cantling Chronicle speaks? The legendary figure blessed with the power of construction? Bah! Of course not. If the Builder has a face like that, I'd eat my own beard. Wow. Everyone loves me so much. Oh yes, Thag, I nearly forgot. A path across the mountains, between its town and the place where you and I first met, was dreadfully treacherous, wasn't it? Not really. Well, the Cantlin Chronicles describe a special tool that can be crafted from the feathers of the chimeras that dwell amid those mountains. A most convenient contraverse. Con that lets you travel at binding blinding speed and be back at your base in the blink of an eye. Of course, if you truly were the builder of a legend, I'm sure you would have no trouble creating this item and showing it to me. Bag, my child, you need only lay your hands upon a new material to discern what items can be built from it. The chimeras you seek dwell at the foot of the mountains fast by this place. Use your compass to find them. That you might use your compass to find them, that you may not lose your way. Rollo, prepare to eat your beard. Oh, okay, we're going this way. I think the way I went what? Wait, read. Hold on. I didn't even know that the sign was there. The monsters always attack from this direction. We must build a wall here to defend the city. It looks like the message was written a long, long time ago in a galaxy far away. Somebody must have lived here once. Okay. Yoink. Shit on my dick. I forgot to put stuff away. Boink, 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 boink. Open. So, oh, I didn't even know you were there, Pippa. Rolo must be a really clever man. Silly people don't have beards and as bushy as that. Now that uh, now that more people are moving in, we're going to need more beds for everyone to sleep on. Poor old Rolo shouldn't have to sleep on the floor. He'll get his beard dirty. Yes, I understand. All right. Um, put away. Put away. Put away. Put away. Mushrooms. No, keep that. Put away. Put away. And oh, actually, let me take the food. Take out. Thank you. Wait, what? What is this? Ooh. All right, put that away. Oh, excuse me. Actually, let's take out six. Put those away. Tidy up. Tidy up. Build healing cream. Build healing cream. Build. I think that's it, okay. Whoa, hello. 
Oh, because, all right, yeah, because I freaking lost, um, I didn't have room. Okay, let me use this then. Bring my health up to 45. Let's save. And once again, I hope you're all having a great day today whenever you are watching this in the future. If you are watching this in the future, I might... No one saw anything. Alright, so... This might not go up on YouTube because I know that... Um, the composer, you know, no offense to him or anything... Uh, doesn't like Dragon Quest games on YouTube or anything like that. So, yeah. You know, it's unfortunate, but... Hey, it's his music. But I would honestly like to help the sales of this game. You know, I mean, like, if anybody watches this and it's like, man, this game looks awesome. You know, and help the sale of this game, that would be freaking amazing. And hell, because of this game, I want to check out more Dragon Quest games. Because the humor is freaking fantastic. Hey, stop it. All right, let's grab a couple of more. Oh, come on. If only I had a shield, that would be great. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Oh, you son of a bitch. There. Okay. We got six. Good enough. Wait. Do I need six or is it five? Whoops. Wrong button. Recipes. It's five. Okay. Yips. Yeah, that one didn't even hit me. Oh, shit. Please get away. What happened? Oh, <laughs> I was thinking that was a healing cream. And I was like, why can't I heal? Brr. Come on, come on, come on. Over here. You son of a bitch. There we go. Ah, you wanna go? Whoa! When the hell did you start doing that? Okay. We got all the stuff that we need. Although, well, hold on. Oh, no, that's where it wanted me to go. Okay, cool. So, let's keep going down. Oh, shit. Let me... Get away from these guys. I don't want them to severely mess me up. That would be bad. I wonder if I can heal by sleeping. Because I haven't been paying attention to that. What's up? Um. Shit, that's... Screw it, I'll just save. I know you guys are seeing the PlayStation thing, and I'm sorry. I just have no other way to record stuff thanks to, uh, my freaking capture card not working with my laptop anymore. I still don't understand why. Come here, wing. Build three? What? Oh, shit. Oh. Sure. Marvelous work. God is above. This is a Camaro ring. <laughs> it is just as the Cantling Chronicle describes. Then, there is no doubt about it. Within you dwells the long lost power of construction. You really are the builder. Eat your beard, Rolo. You son of a bitch. Can I? No. Ever since the light was lost to us, and the realm plunged into darkness, the people of Isle of God have waited for this day to come. The day that benevolent Rubus would send the Builder to save us. Thag, my child. 
You only need to touch a chimera's feather to know what you could build from it. Seek out more materials that speak to those around you, and your knowledge is sure to expand even further. Keep a keen eye on all. Wow, keep a keen eye on your surroundings, my child. If you should see anything that you have never seen before, be sure to collect it. Thag, my friend. You and I have two vital tasks ahead of us. Firstly, we must compete. Complete, not compete. Complete, I apologize. The glorious restoration of the once great city of Catherine. And secondly, we must unravel the mystery of what terrible tragedy brought the town to ruin. This place was once girdled. Oh, sorry. This place was once girdled all about the fearsome fortifications, tall turrets, and towers to keep the monsters at bay. It is even said that the great golem once watched over this place, keeping all inside safe from harm. But those citadels and strongholds were completely obliterated, and nothing remains of Catlin but ruins. Excuse me. Uh, how could such a wretched fate have come to pass? As a proud son of Catlin, I plan to uncover the mystery of what befell my ill-starred ancestors. No doubt that with your powers and my book, it will only be a matter of time before the truth becomes clear. We're all counting on you, Thag. <laughs> He's a jolly old fellow. It's clapping. Alright, put away. Put those away. Torches. Yeah. Do I need the torches? Do I don't? I don't know. Alright. Um. <gasps> don't do that. Alright. Um. You know what, guys? I am actually done for the night. Um. I am going to actually go and record. Some WWE stuff for YouTube. Uh, I'm thinking about actually playing through my career mode because my career mode is actually uh, really uh, interesting to me this year. So, yeah, uh, I'm. I don't know if I'm going to be picking this back up for Twitch or even for YouTube, uh, considering that. You know what I talked about before a lot of uh, Dragon Quest videos get taken down so I don't know I might go ahead and try it you know try putting it up uh, but yeah if it's not there you know why but yeah also um I don't know when I'm gonna do it it's I'm I'm aiming for October 21st, or it could be the 22nd, but I am going to be playing Soma on here. So, Soma is a sci-fi horror game, in case you guys don't know. Came out a few months ago, if not a year ago. I think, I think uh, like, the beginning of the year it came out. No, that's a lie. It came out last year. Pretty sure it did. Anyways... It's from the same guys that made Amnesia, so, you know, it's fun. But yeah, thank you to everyone who watched and came through, and uh, what the hell are you doing up there, Rolla? Also, let's see if I can sleep and heal. That would be wonderful. Stretch. Yes, it works. Okay, awesome. Anyways, so that is fucking god damn it. That is it for me tonight, guys. I will uh I'll see you guys next time. Uh if I So if I don't do anything on the twenty first, it will be the twenty second of October. Uh and honestly I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna play it for a few hours, I think. I don't know. But yeah. 
So I will see you guys next time. I love you all. Goodbye.